Alrighty guys, so we did get some packages in. Uh, first up, we did get this, uh, I guess, selfie stick tripod. And I think this should be pretty cool. And I do have it for a specific purpose. So let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed. And that selfie stick thing actually does have to charge. But we also did get this thing. And this is not exactly the packaging I was expecting. So we will go ahead and crack this open. And... Yeah, so, oh, I dropped a ton of stuff. So, basically, these are, man, the, the thing advertised, like, a charging case for these. It's a little disappointing they don't, but these are basically wireless clip-on mics, and I specifically did get these for ICCCon. If you guys didn't know, I am going to ICCCon, so if you guys want to see me, go to ICCCon, because I will be there. But uh, this will plug into my phone, and essentially, uh, I can use it to, um, you know, have this clipped to my shirt, and so then you guys can hear me. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty cool, and I can also use it for reviews and other stuff as well, so pretty excited for it. So we're kind of just testing right now to see if this mic works. Um, quality is probably not the best, I think I can assume that, but we will see how this sounds. So I do have a clip to my shirt now before I was just holding it up, and I'm guessing it's going to send a little bit more distance considering that I'm not like holding it up to my face. But this is basically what I'll be wearing at ICCCon so you can hear me, and I think it's going to work out pretty well. Hi, how are you doing today? I'm alright, how about you? I'm pretty good. Real quick before we get back into the vlog, I do want to announce that we are officially launching some brand new Luke Ness Monster merch. We do have our 80s inspired uh, Luke Ness Monster logo that was actually voted by you guys. So we do have a t-shirt, hoodie, crew neck, and bomber jacket, which I am super excited about. And then the second option was a Space Ness NASA inspired one. And I went ahead and I made that one as well. And I think it came out pretty cool. It does have the arm printing as well as the meatball on the front. And it's looking great. The Space Nest does, of course, have white, black, and blue color schemes, so if you're interested in any of these, make sure to go check them out. Top link in the description, and back to the vlog. But I, I really like it. Wait, I can show my face now, can I? Yeah. First I'm gonna see if they have any good Yeah, I want a cut of the money. Luke. Absolutely yeah. not. I got the Luke Skywalker. Gee! They got a lot of Return of the Jedi ones, so it's kind of cool. I love that guy. Lilic. What the heck? Obi Wan Kenobi? Wait, what? That's sick. It's Coach. That one's kind of cool. Ooh, Princess Leia. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, I love Bush Leia. Do they have Vader with the unmasked Vader? They got Wicket. Bro, you ain't got Princess Leia. Bro, you, Greg also said that. Oh, another one. <laughs> <laughs> they got the Target dog. What? what? Target dog. That's pretty cool. The Target dog's only at Target? Look, what? what is the... Wait a minute. Get in. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, that's staying in the vlog. I'm not taking that out. <laughs> oh, they got Grogu. I haven't... Excuse. Bro, it's Mando? Oh, I can't it's baby it. Mando. Are you calling me a baby? Yeah. <laughs> what noise did you just make? I hope that makes the cut. Yo, this actually cool. Oh, is it? So it's rental and then if you can do it, then he gets like a hundred dollars. Sit down. Don't <laughs> don't pick it up. Wait, and the guys, they have a loyalty t-shirt? Yeah. Mm -hmm. One metal card? A metal card? There's a metal card in here? Imagine getting baseball cards. Couldn't it's be me. It doesn't say that there's anything else in here. Like, it just says oh, two autographs. <laughs> two autographs. It won't tell me how many is actually in here. What is the base on that? <laughs> two autographs. Is that the Ryan's 
I'm pretty sure there's only Ryan's one. exclusive. Probably yeah. Probably off to me that it says that are in there. <laughs> this one says Kenny Pickett. There's a glare. This one says Kenny Prickett. <laughs> it's the autograph, that's why. He autographs it, Prickett. Alrighty, so we actually got some of these figures a few weeks ago, and we have yet to open them, so uh, it's about time to actually get them open. So let's go ahead and start doing that. We're gonna start with uh, IG-88 here. I do need him to complete my uh, Bounty Hunters, my Empire Strikes Back Bounty Hunters, so we're gonna go ahead and crack this guy open. Why am I doing this carefully? I don't, I'm not saving this box. We're gonna just rip him out. There we go. That's much, much easier. Let's go ahead and uh, carefully get him out here. He does have his two blasters. As well as whatever this knife thing is. I didn't even realize this figure had like this type of articulation. Because the uh, IG-11 figure has like a bandolier that prevents him from doing that. So that's really cool. We also do have this holster on the back here. I'm guessing I can put this into it maybe. Or is it for, or is it for this one? I don't know. I'm guessing it's this guy though. So I think, I think I'm gonna go with this guy. Maybe, I don't even know how this goes in here. Okay, so we ended up having him hold the uh, Stormtrooper Blaster and then the Sniper is in his back here. And then I believe there's also a spot for this blade too that goes right through here. That is really, really cool. So yeah, we do have IG-88 here and we, so I'm gonna be careful not to bend these elbows at all just because I know as soon as I do that, they're gonna fall off. Uh, the little rubber pieces there so uh, we're just going to avoid doing that and we're going to go ahead and uh, stand this guy up on the empire strikes back uh star destroyer shelf and if you don't know what the empire strikes back star destroyer shelf is it's this uh model that i did 3d print i used uh parts of lane speeder luke's files as well as some that i designed myself so i did a full video on me making that unfortunately it is kind of coming unglued towards the top there but we do now have IG-88, which we can add to the shelf. So we're going to go ahead and put him right there. And now we are, of course, missing Boba Fett. And he's that, that, that's because he's in, where'd he go? My Boba Fett shelf right here. So we're going to get Empire Strikes Back Boba out of the shelf. I know it's going to ruin the Boba Fett shrine here, but we're going to go ahead and put him on the Star Destroyer shelf as well. And we got him out here, but I just noticed the lights here. It looks like it looks so much better with the lights in the case than these two that don't have the lights. So I'm going to desperately, I desperately need to get some more of those lights. So that's definitely going to be on the priority list. But for right now, we are going to go ahead and carefully put him in here as not to knock anything over. And there we go. We have the Empire Strikes Back Bounty Hunters. Now, I don't have an extra Vader, so I kind of just put Tark in there. But I think we're also going to end up putting... Um, uh, Grand Admiral Thrawn on the shelf as well, probably up here next to Tarkin. And of course, we do have just some random people here, I thought, to fill the trenches. So I thought they they kind of fit pretty well. I think I need to get more of these guys. I know Target's had them on sale. So I think they'd fit in this kind of area pretty nicely. So I'll have to get more of them. And I do love that Andor, but I don't really know where else to put him. So he's going to kind of, he's kind of just chills in the shelf as well. But I'm liking how this one came Anyway, out. next up, I think we're going to open up the Battlefront Shock Trooper. This is the one I've been wanting to open up for a very long time. So pretty happy to finally be getting around to doing that. It's been a long time since I've opened a red box figure. Wow. <laughs> and of course, we do have... The figure here blaster already in hand that is cool to see obviously we do have the weathered sniper here too which is nice we don't get a lot of weathering on blasters anymore which is a little unfortunate but you know there we go we got him out now this one is actually based off of battlefront 2015 and in battlefront 2015 they had the big uh like the big heavy weapons because these were like the heavy infantry and so i'm really wishing that they would have included that blaster as a part of this just because it specifically says battlefront on the packaging and so that would have been 
it would have been a nice touch. But I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to holster this blaster here because he does have a holster for it. Then we're going to grab this one out. And he's going to hold on to this one here if I can uh, get it in his hand. But yeah, I really love this design for the trooper. He just dropped the blaster. Gosh dang it. I really like the design for this trooper. It's one of my... He, he can't hold on to it. Anyway, we finally got his uh, blaster in his hand here. And I got to say, the more and more I handle this old Stormtrooper body, the more and more I hate it. He has just a, tr a tough time standing up. The proportions are not the best. And the hands are super, super hard plastic. So he has a hard time holding on to stuff. But I still love the design. And I really do hope they decide to go back and remake this on the new 2020 body. Anyway, let's go ahead and get him on the Imperial shelf. We already have a spot set aside for him. And there we go, we got him on the shelf with some of the rest of the original Stormtroopers there. Looking pretty nice. Under that we do have, of we have like the Sand Trooper, but then we have the rest of the original, or the newer 2020 Stormtroopers. And it's nice, I'm really loving the Imperial shelf here. It's a little crowded, but overall I like how it looks. And um, I need to get, I need to get a bigger shelf is what I need to get. But even the probe droid there is sitting in the back. But yeah, looking super cool. Love the Imperial shelf. It looks good with the lights too. Anyway, I think I'm going to go ahead and leave the Imperial Senate Guard for another video. And that's just mainly because I absolutely hate this figure. It, it just it really sucks. Uh, it's nothing like how it's supposed to look like in The Force Unleashed. And it needs an entire, entire video describing why. But the, the only part of this is really accurate is the helmet thing. The rest of it is completely inaccurate. And so I'll probably do a review just bashing this guy to the pieces, but... Um, yeah, he was on sale. I think I paid, he was 20% off of 26 and then I also had a $5 coupon, so I ended up paying, like, 11 or 12 bucks for him. So I figured for that I'd pick him up, but I still absolutely hate this figure, and I think, um, he's not very good. So, <laughs> we'll go ahead and save him for another video, though. I'll open him later. Today we're gonna open Thrawn as well, because I want to add him to the Star Destroyer shelf along with, uh, Grand, Grand Admiral Tarkin. And we are just going to go ahead and rip this open. Again, I don't plan on saving any archive packaging. So. Like so. Now this one is, of course, the archive version. So he does have the updated photo reel. And I really love how that looks. That updated photo reel looks incredible. Did he have a blaster? He did have a blaster. I just threw away the box that had the blaster. All right, we got the blaster here. I'm just going to go ahead and put that in his holster. And I think the way we have to pose him, like it's just required, is his hands like behind his back like this. Like he's like he's thinking almost. I don't know. He's pretty intimidating like this. And um, he's going to look great on the shelf. So I actually I really love the white uh imperial officer outfit as well it looks really good anyway let's go ahead and get this guy on the shelf and there we go we got him on the shelf as well i'm not super happy with how this came out i mean they kind of cover up the bounty hunters in the back i think once we get a light in here it'll help a little bit but i don't know i think it's a good place for him now and um we'll have to think of something else for the future anyway guys that's gonna do it for this vlog if you did enjoy the like button subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video make sure you go check out the merch link in the description